say, bro, doesn't this suck? I mean, I swear, I've been panting like I have rabies or something. And then I put a few cubes of ice in my water bowl is seriously going to violate this here drought. <laughs> Look, my furry friend, you're just going to have to get with the program. Ever since you arrived here, you've been pulling on your leash, refusing to be led. Can you blame me? I mean, look at that patch of dirt where they have us do our business. Not even a few tufts of grass to sniff in to get me in the mood. <laughs> I'm Whoa! Dude, didn't you see me jerking in my sleep dreaming of fire hydrants mm. and telephone poles? Don't you know that can lead to problems later in dog years? Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Here they come! Bully! Walk your tail and jump around like you're happy! Hey! Hey! Look at me! I'm sleeping around! <laughs> Bully, run over, Blow. How do you expect them to let us out for a walk? <sighs> Why, this fur of mine is in proper form. I'm not going to mess it up for these fools. All I know is that I have my shade in my bowl, and I'm giving my kibble and bits at the same time each day. You keep that foolishness up, and we're going to be doing some serious work around here. Do you remember that three-month lockdown? I sniffed through more than a hundred cells, and all I came up with was some bunk product. Let me tell you, that inmate got seriously burned by his homeboy. I wouldn't sell that stuff to my grandmother. You're just going to have to get to the program, or you're out of here. I mean, that might not be so bad. Some of the employees sure love rubbing my fur and scratching me behind my ear till my back legs twitching. And let me tell you, my friend, it is truly heaven to be sweet-talked like that. Look up in the air. There's a good year blink going by. What? Your swollen head, fool. Hey, ma'am. Every dog has a few fleas. And you're always on me. This ain't no wolf pack. I came through the academy same as you. And they had no right to snatch me from my mom's litter. Why do you think they call it a dog's life? Are you being dogged out? Face it, bully. We're never going to be that Norwell, Rockwell family dog. Just between you and me, I heard you might be out of here for lack of performance. What? Over that last shakedown, that was not on me. <laughs> well, they sure tore up that inmate cell like a tornado hit it because of you. Man, you went buck wild barking and yanking on your leash like Chapo Guzman was headquartered there. It wasn't my fault that fool of an inmate had six cheeseburgers stashed in his locker. All I knew is that I smelled A1 grade A American beef. And I can guarantee you it was not the soy products they're always feeding them. Get off me, damn spy. Hey! Hey! Cut that out! <laughs> Sorry, Braham, I got carried away. Yeah, you were seriously in the zone. Say, why don't you tell me again about when you boned out when they took you to the vet? All right. So, I caught them slipping when they removed my leash and I made it out the front door and from there it was all about sunny San Diego. All I needed was a straw hat and some Bermuda shorts. You mean Speedos? They don't wear Bermuda shorts anymore. Huh? It's the next space before a thong. Wow, and I thought you were Republican, conservative values. Never mind. Go on with the story. The dog catching up to you, right? Yeah, because I froze up when I smelled those boardwalk corn dogs. <laughs> but I gave them a run for their money. And let me tell you, the Diego sh Animal Shelter is as hard as Leavenworth. I heard those pit bulls are no joke. Oh, I mean, they pretty much had everybody intimidated. Except for me. What about Zeus? Tell me about him again. Well, he was quite the legend in there. I mean, he got gas for biting a, pure, for biting a mailman and knocking up a purebred poodle named Fifi amongst other things. And all those arrogant neighborhood cats knew to stay out of his way. Keeping an old parole, right? Oh, numerous violations and citations for pooping on lawns and tipping over trash cans and things like that. You know, he could leap a 10-foot fence in a single bound. And when the cops came after his juvenile delinquent owner, he choked out a German shepherd. What else did they say about him? Well, that he knew for a fact that in Paris, France, dogs just sit around in sidewalk cafes talking politics and <sighs> smoking Cuban cigars and sipping iced tea and eating Slim Jims. Imagine that. Say, look over there. Here comes Lutter. 
Ugh, man, I am not feeling that canine. Every time I try to get his attention, he always ignores me. I think he's got that PTSD. Might be. He served three tours in Afghanistan. Say, hey you, Sergeant Slaughter. You sniffed any landmines lately? You know, I just came back from seeing the Martha Stewart of canines. The dog whisperer. <laughs> Say pooch. Pooch! Are you awake? Can you smell that? Tension on the yard. They're suiting up for a code three. But if you ask me, these homo sapiens sure love their drama. I swear, bully, you gotta head as thick as a libertarian. I was on one dreaming of buried bones and life before it was. I know. I never thought of you as a free thinker. I always imagined you to be a very kept dog with that purebred posture. You know, tall, straight back, snap forward. Hold up. I hope you're not insinuating that business with that strike a pose, tired Madonna. Because <laughs> I don't roll that way. Huh? At all. Huh? You know, Marlene Dietrich Amon Rowe on the cover of a magazine. Reach out here with kiss the face. Ginger Rogers, dance on air. <laughs> Damn dog, have you been eating those mushrooms over there in the grass? Because if you have, I will seriously have to call a man down. Never mind. I've got a confession to make. I was once no more than an orphaned rescue dog. You're pulling my tail. No way. Huh. And all along I'm thinking your rear smells like Kanye West. <laughs> my previous owner was a troubled man. Some humans have just seen too much, like one too many tours of duty. That's one heavy bone to chew on. I'm telling you, to know you belong to someone was like nothing else in this world. And then he was gone. <clears throat> and I waited and I waited till my ribs were showing. So one night I, I jumped the fence and just got my Roma, tipping over trash cans for a meal and finding love in all of the wrong places. You know what? Let's do it. Let's lose this place, pooch. You don't think I tried when I first got here? I did till my paws were all bloody, but you can't dig through concrete. Pooch, this is all I've ever known. I want out. It could be much worse, bully. You could be a lap dog of some seriously fat and lonely spinster wearing too much makeup and a pink wig and spilling of cheap perfume. But you're not helping me, Pooch, okay? I don't want to die in this cage. I want out. <laughs> Calm down, dog, or you'll be leaving one of them fangs for the tooth fairy. Okay, I have a plan. We'll just, we'll pretend to be sick and then We'll make a break for it, and, and, and we'll keep going, you know, like those two women. You mean Nancy Lohan and Hillary Clinton? <laughs> no, like Thelma and Louise. Oh. My boy, you're freaking me out. This ain't no cool hand look movie. Just the other day you were rolling with laughter when some fool stepped on your poop. Man, you were a riot. I want the old bully back. I don't think she's coming back, Pooch. I mean, what is happening to us? Look, the moon's already in the sky. It'll be a lonely night. Are we really better off than those humans that we see brought by in chains? Humans believe that there's a better place they go to after they've lived a life of immense guilt and self-loathing. Will there be a better place for us? That's kind of tricky, Bully. Like choosing between a Mormon and a Hare Krishna. I mean, if you ask me, it's all quite unfair. I mean, they have Brad Pitt and George Clooney, and what do we have? Scooby-Doo and Caesar Milan. <laughs> all right, you got me there. And no wonder the prisoners try and call us like we're children. Yes, yeah, quite irritating. <sighs> Say pooch. 
Where was that place you were at again? On the border of Pacoima. At nightfall, dogs used to gather and run in packs, clearing the streets out of stray cats. Sometimes, <laughs> on my nightly forays, I'd be stuck in cars with their horns honking and road rage drivers yelling, Get off the road, you filthy mongrel! <laughs> Bully? I'm about to get to the best part. Wow. Oh! I'm not a human. I'm no more than a beast, an animal. Oh! Is anyone out there? Don't let yourself be troubled. Has anyone seen my best friend in the whole wide world? Get a grip, youngster, or you'll be on the Dr. Phil show. Your, book, your girl's been gone for months now. I just saw her a few days ago. It's just you and me, pal. She savored her last milk bone, laid to rest with full honors. Well, now what do I do? You Catholic? No. Uh, Luther? Nope. Jehovah Witness? No. Can't help you, buddy. You're like one of them evolutionists. So that's it. End of story. Oh. Oh. Calm down, dog. Relax. I'm just pulling your tail. You have a proud and honorable purpose here. You know, I was thinking I'd rather be one of them. What? You mean those humans? <laughs> as far as I can tell, most of them just sit around seeing who can tell the wittiest <laughs> and most extravagant lies. I don't know about all that. After years of that, they begin to believe their own lies. It's a rather horrid faith. Yeah, quite horrid put that way. And they talk quite despicably about one another until it's store day. I get it. So they have to grovel a bit themselves. Yes. I was reliably informed of all this by one of those companion dogs. He said his trainer claims to be the only sane person in the whole institution. My friend Pooch? She's known me since I was a pup. I've always known her to be a Darwinian and admirer of the red hot chili peppers. A stand-up canine. Huh? Listen, I don't give advice to just anyone, but I like you, kid. You've got potential. You see these letters on my collar? WWPD. PD? Stands for What Would President Donald Trump Do? <laughs> And it's true about Paris, France. I've seen it with my own two eyes. As a matter of fact, on my way back from Iraq, I saw in Palermo, Italy, that the dogs in there live off of goat's cheese, sipping grape juice from the vineyards of the Pope. Say, bully? Bully? Wow.